Welcome back, Chris Richter here, where we're going to look at PHP development again. And this is for those that are developing a block in the Moodle LMS. Now, it doesn't have to be a block. It can be anything else as well. But what we'd like to look at is how to put in configuration options for a plugin so that administrators can configure the Moodle plugin or the Moodle block from the administration without having to go in and change any code in the background. So how do we do that or what does that really mean? Let's jump into the Moodle admin. And if we go into plugins and have a look down in blocks and go to maybe courses is probably a sensible one. Inside the courses block, there is actually a couple of different options that you can use. And those options that can be set, in this case, it's an admin view. So you can decide admin view sees all courses, admin view sees only sees own courses. Now this has a label. It has a unique ID. It has an option as to whether to display your courses in the course block. So this is a description. It has a default value and obviously the type of field that we're talking about. So we're going to create our own admin like this for our own block. It'll include a text area or two text areas and a checkbox as well. That's going to be our settings and you can save those and then they'll need to be reflected inside the plugin. So how do we go about doing that? Let's jump back again in our video. Uh, in our page, the three things that we're going to have as our fields in our admin is the welcome video. So we'll allow the admin to change that text that's in there. We'll allow the admin to decide whether the video gets displayed or not. And then we'll also add an option to change the video to a different video from YouTube by using the YouTube video ID as one of the other fields. Let's jump into our code and have a look at what we need to do. First of all, let's have a look at our plugin. We've got a Ricochet demo. We have a language file in there. So there's our language file and I'll explain what these uh, strings are in a moment. We have a default template, which is the HTML that is created to display the content in our block. Then we have our block ricochet demo file, which is where the block actually gets all its content from that goes gets displayed in a block. So we're going to look at that in just a moment. And then the other one is our settings and settings is the important one we're going to start from and we'll work our way back. So bear with me. It will take a little bit, a little while to go through this, but it is very useful and very helpful. And once you've got the basics down, you'll be really, really good at doing this. So you need to create a settings.php file in your block if you don't have one. In the settings.php, we just need to say if admin tree, if admin full tree, all we're doing there is just checking that the admin tree is actually there so we know we can put these settings in there. Then all we need to do is go to, because it's our settings.php, settings already exists, we just need to go in and add each of the fields. To do that, it's quite simple. We just go settings, add, and the type of setting that we're going to add in this case, it is a config text. So it's an admin setting that goes in the admins, but it's called config text. After that, we need to give it an ID or a reference so that we know what this configuration option actually is and where it belongs. So it belongs in the block ricochet demo. So the folder is block. The file folder for the plugin is called ricochet demo. So we've got block underscore ricochet underscore demo. So that's all good. Then a unique name here without spaces for this field that we're going to use. In this case, it's called welcome. Then we use get string. And these two get strings here are really just getting in our case. Uh, we've got the label. So it's the label for that the welcome field and then the next one is the description so we just put down our description there then we have a default value in this case it's the word welcome then we've got the type which is param text so that's the data type that we're going to use and the because it is a text field just the length of how many characters are going to go in that text field which is just 120 because it's only a sort of short welcome label, short title that we're putting in there. They're the things for the first configuration setting. The second configuration setting we're doing will look very similar. It's still a config text, but this is the YouTube ID. So we've got our block for the folder that we're in for our blocks, then ricochet underscore demo or underscore ricochet underscore demo for the plugin name. YouTube ID is just our unique field name that we're going to give it. Then we again have our label and that'll come out of the language file. I'll show you that in a moment. The string for the description that comes out of the language file. Then we're going to have a default value of nothing. We're not going to actually put a default video ID in there. Param text is the text type, same as up here. And then only needs to be 60 because YouTube IDs are definitely no longer than 60. The next one is our checkbox that decides whether the video gets displayed or it doesn't. So what we do is settings, add, and new. This, in this case, it's config checkbox. 
we're going with our block ricochet demo as before show video is the unique field that we're giving it the name we're giving it then we've got our label that comes from language file and our label for the sorry our text for the description uh, comes from language file again the default value is zero then the value if the checkbox is ticked will be one zero if the checkbox is not ticked so that where we've got our true false yes no zero and one values so that's all we need to do for our settings and if we save that and go back to Moodle we jump into our plugins folder remember we're an administrator here we go down to our blocks and we should have our ricochet block just there so let's open up the ricochet block and you'll see in here we now have ricochet block welcome text so that was our label that was the description that's the default value and in here is the actual value that we've decided to give it so welcome to your new course our YouTube ID has a default value actually it has a default empty value so I must have already put that one in so it should actually look like that then the description included an example YouTube ID and where do we get that YouTube ID from go to YouTube have a look at the V equals or video equals and it's just that little bit there up to the end the bit after the end is just the time for when the video starts so it can look just like that so that's the ID that we need out of a video so we grab that ID put that into our admin settings for that particular video show or hide video we're going to tick yes or show default is no and save changes yeah wondering where all this text here came from these descriptions and everything I'm going to show you that's just going to save I'm going to show you back here in our language file so we've got a ricochet demo lang en block ricochet demo in here is all the language files for all of those settings that we created so for example I'll just show you one of them settings welcome label equals ricochet block welcome text just fix that typo uh, ricochet welcome label if I now go back into our settings page we've got get string settings welcome label is the same one that we had there and it's getting that out of the block ricochet demo language file block ricochet demo so that's what all of those get strings are and where they come from so we've got that far we've now got the settings in there but they don't do anything so if I go back to our site and refresh this page it will still say welcome video and in this case it will actually show you the same video because I've used the same video ID so maybe I should grab another one of my videos with a different ID how to use the equation editor will do and I'll just go back in the admin settings and replace it with a different video just so that when we do actually go and test it we should get the um, adding spaces to the equation editor in Moodle video instead of the how to at left hand menu all right jump into our code again what we're going to do now is head into our block so this is the block ricochet demo this bit here inside the block we have everything that's normal in a block so if you're not sure about that check out a course I've got on how to create blocks in Moodle what we need to do is we have an array down here just an empty one in this array we're just going to add welcome equals and then get config which goes to those configuration settings it's looking for the block ricochet demo block so we need to put block ricochet demo and then the field welcome so again if we go back to our settings block ricochet demo and welcome so that's those two parts there that come out of the settings it's the block itself and then the actual field name welcome so we're telling it to add this get config option to welcome uh, put that into the rendered template if we go and check our rendered template in our templates folder which is default you'll see here we have hard coded in there welcome video what we want to do is change that to just the word welcome which will match welcome just there so there's welcome there's welcome if we save that go back and reload our page we should now get the new text that's been put into the configuration setting instead come into our block there we go welcome to your new course so that's the first part we've got the heading part in or that title in that can say any text that is based on what's said in the configuration option now we need to hide and show the video so let's do that to do that we go back into our block we're just going to say hide show video equals we need to work out what our configuration option is so we go and grab that 
there's our config option now it's a block ricochet demo and the actual setting is show video there it is there so we go back into our block and we're using show setting and then we've got hide show video we can call that show setting show video if you like it doesn't really matter we will use the same terminology it might make it easier show video back here we need to then go outside of our video container and we put in our handlebars and then hash show video and at the end of this card so I think that's the end one just there yes so after the YouTube video we put our handlebars back in we put slash and show video what this does it means if the value inside show video is zero null none then it won't show that video at all so that's assuming that the settings say zero or none for that checkbox so let's just go and see what that does right now if I refresh it it should just stay exactly the same because I'm sure that in our configuration settings we tick the box to say show video which it does if we go to our admin settings and we say no to that save the settings wait for it to save and once it's saved which it has now done we can then go back and refresh our page and our block now in theory should hide the video which is exactly what it did but it hasn't showed us the correct video that we wanted it's still showing the wrong one so let's go back to show video so we can change that setting back go into our code and in here we need to put in the video ID which is just there so it's got youtube.com embed and that's that video ID so we put the handlebars in and we put in there I think or we can call it video ID is all we need jump back to our block and we now need to add in a new one for the video ID because we need to put the video ID in and this will be uh, get config again in this case it will be block ricochet demo and video ID let's check our settings our setting is actually it's YouTube ID glad we checked we'll just make that YouTube ID instead there so it's going to grab YouTube ID from the config settings put it into YouTube ID go into our default and make that YouTube ID just like that and if we refresh our page our current YouTube ID well it should show um, adding spaces to the equation it is now if we refresh it because it changed now it says unexpected variable this where did we get unexpected variable this from uh, we just forgot to put the semicolon in the end reload make sure you have display errors on when you're doing this and you're not working on a production Moodle just to make sure you know what you're doing there we go you can do it and if for example we wanted to change this to another video and we'll make it something completely different this is my daughter and I playing uh, one of her original songs let's grab the YouTube ID for that yes that's me there go into our settings paste that in save the new YouTube ID that I just copied from the top go back down here and reload and we now have the video being embedded based on the one that was in the configuration settings which is exactly what we wanted so hopefully that made complete sense to you but you now have your configuration settings or you now have an understanding of how to set up configuration settings in a YouTube video which is very cool and clever I hope that's been useful to you if there's uh, any other things you need to know or you desperately need to know how to do let me know some of them I may be able to help you with otherwise check out the courses I have on how to create a plugin how to create a block and how to create a child theme in Moodle otherwise I'll talk to you again very very soon